In early January, as the work to move Halley progressed, I joined glaciologist Jan on a trip to investigate a new crevasse which had recently been spotted in the ice shelf. First noticed just over two months ago, it was nicknamed the Halloween crack after the inauspicious date of its discovery. So Jan, yeah. where are we going today? We are going to uh, Halloween crack, which is a major uh, rift in the Brand ice shelf. Yeah. And um, only in October it's broken all the way through the surface and now it's growing pretty big. It's uh, widening very rapidly. But 40 centimeters a day, it's getting wider. Uh, and um, I'll go and we just want to go and have a look at it. Middle of October last year, we were going up the N9 flag line and we came across it then. It was only about this wide with nice straight sides. Uh, it was a bit of a surprise because obviously that's one of our main travel routes that we used to send heavy vehicles along. When you think it's only really three months um, since you could drive across it safely, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty huge now. I think you'd have to be quite optimistic to try and get a skidoo across. Today is the first time that anyone has been to see Halloween Crack face to face since it was discovered. But as we arrived, I had no idea how significant this trip would turn out to be. The area around the crevasse is potentially unstable, so for safety reasons, we had to work roped together. Get myself connected to a rope, and check if those boys are connected nicely. We weren't allowed to go close to the edge of Halloween Crack, so the only way to get a proper look was to use a drone. As with Chasm 1, it's up to Jan to keep tabs on how this crevasse might affect the area surrounding Halley in the future. In order to do this, he wants to set up a time-lapse camera to monitor how the crack is growing. So we'll take a picture every hour for the next couple of months, and then if we play these in sequence, then hopefully we'll be able to see the widening of, of the crack and also the way it sort of propagates. But I hadn't expected it to form so rapidly, definitely not. And, and I hadn't expected it to widen so quickly and grow uh, at the rate it's, it's growing at the moment. So, no, it is, I think it is a, a surprise to a lot of us. Yeah, yeah, we do seem to be quite excited back at Cambridge. Um, but it's, it's probably understandable, it's quite an expensive base. You know, obviously spent a lot of money moving it once. I imagine they don't want to have to spend that again. In total, the British Antarctic Survey HQ back in Cambridge will spend £11 million on the Halley Move project. We'll come back in a moment or so and check it out. Looks a bit vulnerable from here. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be all right. 